Today we're playing the demo for Alaskan Truck Simulator. Stick around to learn more about this upcoming game. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I thought we would try something new and give the demo for Alaskan Truck Simulator a try. So let's check out some of the things this game has to offer. Alright here we go. Welcome to Alaskan Truck Simulator. We are very happy to finally be able to show you a demo of our game. In demo you will have to complete a tutorial based on delivering the first assignment which will teach you basic mechanics such as driving and transport. You need to take care of health, warmth, and energy. Prepare the food, collect the equipment, and hit the road. In the demo, a vast majority of mechanics are not available, but in the full version, there will be, among other things, many different trucks to unlock. I think the tutorial only has one. A huge sandbox map based on very large fragment of the real Alaska. Just how much off-roading, I'm not sure, because if you try it in the tutorial, it'll kick you back to the main road. Full career mode, character development, many skills to unlock, and reputation to achieve. They touch a little bit on reputation in the tutorial. There's a section that's based on how well you can park your trailer. Lots of assignments scattered all over the map with randomly generated goods and routes. Several hundred different loads and dozens of trailers. Expanding your own base and very extensive system of repairs and truck customizations. I'll be curious to see what that involves. Many survival mechanics known from typical survival games. The only mechanic that I'm aware of in the tutorial is having to eat every time your stomach grumbles, which is kind of annoying as to the frequency at which it happens, so maybe they'll scale that down a bit. Dynamic weather mode with four seasons and 24 hour day slash night cycle. This I was pretty happy with. All right, let's jump into this tutorial. Just like before any trip you take, you're gonna wanna pack some essentials. Can't forget your reindeer meat. This is Alaska after all. We will need to get it onto the stove and just warm it up a little to avoid getting sick. Should be able to just throw it into this cooker and set the timer. About a minute. Yep, that's good. There. That's good. We like our reindeer meat a little raw. Ooh, reindeer with parmesan. That sounds delicious. Now we will need to grab our toolbox, some tire chains, that's pretty cool, and don't forget to pack your hammer and nails. Not exactly the emergency kit I'm used to taking with me, but hey, this is just a little taste, and we will end up using all of these items in the tutorial, I promise. Now it's time to check out our vehicle. Aw, that's too bad. I really wanted to check the light bulbs to make sure there was enough blinker fluid. Let's check out the interior. This part I really like with the working dashboard and all the bells and whistles. The dashboard lights, the CB radio, and the interior lights. The frost on the windshield and windows, that's a nice touch. The need for the heater, which we will be reminded of shortly. The working wipers, all of these are nice features and attention to detail. The cab in the back, this is where you can rest to recover energy, and a microwave to warm up your food, and a refrigerator to keep it fresh. Even a cabinet for extra storage. Really nice. Let's check out the CB radio features. This is a very nice touch and a perfect place to add a roadside assistant feature, a penalty for running out of fuel, and a recovery option when you really get stuck, all in one place. As the tutorial reminds us, it is now time to hit the road. There's several camera options to switch out of interior mode, which is nice. And as soon as you get moving, the game reminds you about the importance of staying warm and making sure your heater is working. Now that we have our first destination, which is the gas station, we can activate it by simply going to the map and selecting the location. This will automatically populate a route onto your GPS. When you get to the gas station, you'll need to park the truck properly. 
turning off the ignition and setting your parking brake before you're able to fuel up. You can set the amount of fuel. In this case, we need to fuel up at least 30 gallons before we can continue the journey. Our next stop is to the local store where we will pick up some canned food and some motor oil. It's a good thing we stopped at the store because on the way to the rock quarry, we happen to notice the oil is low. Oh no, someone didn't do a pre-trip. Top off the oil and I'll meet you at the quarry. Now that we have reached the quarry, we can pick up our actual first job. This part of the tutorial was fun because of all the setup involved with hooking up a trailer. There are several things you need to do after lining up your truck with the trailer. First we will need to lock it in place. Next we'll need to connect these pneumatic or hydraulic cables and finally we can raise the support leg from underneath the trailer. Now that we are all hooked up, we can continue the rest of the way. From here I'm going to wrap up my commentary so that you can enjoy watching the rest of the gameplay. It's too early with this being the demo and all to review in any sort of way or compare it to another game like SnowRunner. It wouldn't be fair at this point, but I will say it has a completely unique feel to it and will be a lot of fun to play. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Continue watching to the end as we clear a road obstruction, get cut off by an ignorant driver, deal with a blizzard, and perfectly park our trailer at the delivery point. Is this something you will be playing? What do you think about the gameplay so far? Let me know in the comments below. Also be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back soon with more videos.